Good afternoon. I'm here with Barb Grice, the director of the San Diego Heritage Museum. And Barb's going to tell us a little bit about uh, her time here and uh, uh, the program for families on weekends. Barb, how long have you been here and, and, and what, what interesting things have you seen? I've been helping at the museum for probably about 12 years. I started uh, helping my mom with the school programs and during the year, school year and sort of worked my way into the office. They needed help in the office, and then uh, I made my way into the executive directorship. And, and um, now, on weekends, the, the program for families is called Families Make History? Correct, yes. And so, um, is that a lot of crafts? What's going on there? It's, um, it's activities for kids, basically, um, all ages of kids. And we try and have the activity blend into something that the, is local history. And um, the program's been very, very successful because it's a free program on the weekends. And we have families that come back every month because we have different projects and activities every month. Oh, great. Now, I'm going to pan over here. And this is the Main Street over there in the distance that's going to be Main Street anyway yes and and so what's going on with that well Main Street is going to be a um, it's have a facade that's going to be about uh, early Encinitas and um, it will look like the old buildings in downtown Encinitas and the interior will be exhibit space and we hope to have uh, changing exhibits in there so that um, you know, it's kind of nice to have one specific area for exhibits to change, and that will be the, the spot for it. Thanks, Barb. Absolutely. Hello, Jan. Hello. When did you come to this area? I came in 1949. And your husband was born here? He was born at the corner of Lucadia Boulevard and El Cam and. Uh, Quail Gardens, where the pond is, was on their homestead property. They had 320 acres there. In 1883 is when they, their family, his family came. Wow, and so you were telling me that um, in the 50s, something interesting was happening near, near El Camino Real. Well, we were simply talking about the fact that there were cattle running even on, yes, close to El Camino Real, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I think most people would be very surprised to hear that. Well, this is uh, Jan Grice, and she is one of the founding members of the San Diego Heritage Museum, and she was president in the early 90s. Thanks, Jan. You bet. Thank you. Here I am mid-activity with... Um, J Julie, what's your last name? Peterson. And, and Julie, what is your position here at the San Diego Heritage Museum? I'm the director of education. Can you say hi? Hi, good. <laughs> and so you're playing with, uh, is it Saya or Sia? Saya. Saya right now, okay. Yes, we do all ages here, and we do a heritage craft, and you can see right here, what are we doing, honey? We're doing a dried bean mosaics, aren't we, pumpkin? Because Encinitas was big with lima beans, huh? Yeah, we're doing great. And so um, this is every weekend? The, the, the every weekend, and the lesson changes every month. So next month we'll be doing uh, washcloth bunnies. And um, bring everybody out. It's so fun. And it's uh, 12 to 4 on Saturdays and Sundays, and I'll be here every weekend. So you can mark your calendar. And bring a picnic lunch. We have tables out now and umbrellas. Come to see. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. One of the things that I think that we need to um, have here at the museum is something that is interactive for the kids, something that they can touch and feel and play with. And um, right at the moment, you know, our museum space is pretty much don't touch, um, a lot of valuable things. So I, I, I think we need something that the kids can actually get involved with and play with. That's, uh, I think, a major thing. Great, and, and there was also something about a, a, a large space? Yes, we've been talking about putting up a large tent and have it be a structure that 
will be semi-permanent, four or five years type thing, that we can have as meeting space or for the community and, and event space, and um, which would help us grow an awful lot when we bring in the people. That's a big, big thing that I think we need. Great, and I just wanted to, to double check some of it. There was a sweet lady that I was interviewing a couple of weeks ago. Jan Grice is your mom? Yes, it is. <laughs> she is, yes. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.